Hi and welcome back to my studio. You've been asking for more decluttering videos and I really need to declutter in here. It seems to be no matter how much I tidy up, there's still always more that needs to be doing. I think it's just because I've got so much stuff in here. So today I've got a whole load of shelves that really, really bother me at the top, especially when I'm doing like a live video or something on my screen. All I can see is the messy shelves above me. So I'm going to tackle them today and tidy up my other shelves as well. I'm also going to have a little chat. I've had some questions lately and um, I thought I would answer them whilst I'm doing the decluttering in a little voiceover. So I really hope you enjoy the video today. Give me a thumbs up please if you do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I also have a journaling channel which is solely dedicated to journaling. It's called It's Only Paper and I'll link that up below for you as well. So this is the area I'm going to be taking care of today. See, it does look messy, doesn't it? It's organised. It's like messy organised. As I run a business from home, I have lots of kind of like boring stuff that has to be stored. Um, I class all this stuff as quite boring. It's like gift tags. I've also got paper bags and other stationary bits. And in the large kind of like canvas tote bag storage thing, um, I have no idea what's in there, but it's full of rubbish. Right, so I've got loads of envelopes and loads of tags. I did clear out a whole load of storage here under my desk recently. You may remember me doing that. I did like a whole desk declutter. I'll link up the video below for you in case you missed it. But my idea is to actually store all my gift tags in those drawers under my desk and then that will empty out all that space up there found a whole box of these tags that's really handy I will definitely use those I use tags all the time they are so handy I use them a lot in my kits my monthly kits for packaging either like to wrap twine around or to just add bits and pieces to I've added like planner clips too but I think they are fab to use for journaling and on like your scrapbooking layouts I quite often stamp images on them and pop them in the um, kits for you to use they're really really cute I use them all the time on my project how often do you clean your house like everyday routine I think you know obviously a large majority of you guys definitely because I am 20 I don't even know 25 weeks pregnant I gotta look at my app I don't even know but I'm you know to me it's heavily pregnant to other people's not but I feel like a giant whale. I mean, I, I need to organize this side of the room, obviously, that's why the camera is like guinea pigs, that's pretty much it. We didn't have like cows or anything like that or horses, but all my neighbors have, I'm a parent's old house, they have horses. Oh, I found these as well. I've got loads of tags. And I found another box of tags. I have a lot of tags. Whoops, just spilt Pepsi on my to-do list. That was not meant to happen. Next, I am going to tidy up these baskets. These hold odds and ends of paper bags that I use in the kit. I don't actually know what to put on that top shelf. Oh, I do know. Because the problem is I can't reach it. I've actually got old wedding stock up there, like loads and loads of socks and things. Stuff that I keep meaning to list on eBay. I've got like all the um, grooms type socks like page boy groomsman best man and then i've got all the cufflinks to match as well um and i keep meaning to list them on ebay and i never get around to it but i don't want to just get rid of them because i've spent a lot of money on them in the past so i'm gonna stick them on that shelf because i can't reach it but i can reach that one so then i can put stock on that top shelf which will be really helpful i also need to go through that shelf another time as well excuse all the camera equipment but these are the boxes just from the tags that I've got rid of I've already done really well so I've had a jiggle around up there and put boxes that I don't need so much like upcoming stock up there and I've also got a ribbon box now I've got a bit more room for this month's kit and this is all the wedding gear um, might be able to condense it down a little bit I've got a lot I've got all kinds this is from my previous wedding business uh, cuff links in here. I need to block out one afternoon soon and just list the lot. I've got photos of it all. List the lot in one go. That's what I need to do. What jobs do you have that you probably wouldn't take too long, but you always, always put off? Well, I actually can't go over this anyway. Okay. So I can't step over that. 
You like that? Yeah. <clears throat> well, the problem I wanted, though, was for it to look tidier up here. And it's still not going to look tidier, is it? Mm. What should I do with all this stuff? It drives me mad. Charity shops aren't taking anything. And it, let's face it, if I do list it on eBay, it's going to be a few quid, isn't it? The only other, the other thing is if this doesn't actually have got a wedding business. Yeah. Isn't it? Almost like reach out to a yeah. small company or do a search for like a, someone, not say similar to yourself. I don't yourself. really want, do you know what I mean? The idea is I'm trying to make it look a bit nicer. But you want to sh dish it, get rid of it, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to give you this. Cause also, if I stick it up there and it's to be sight, I'm going to forget about it again like it has been forgotten up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but the decision well, I'm just has been made. I've decided not to put those boxes up there because it defeats the whole object of me trying to have a tidy out and make it look nicer behind me. Plus, I think if it's up there, I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to have to deal with it this week. I'm now going to sort through and tidy up the paper bag. Right, whilst I'm tidying up the paper bags, I just thought I would clarify. I've had quite a few people asking about the changes coming up with regards to me starting Patreon. People asking if I'm going to be stopping things and the fact is nothing is actually going to be changing. I'm not stopping my boxes, my monthly boxes. I'm not closing the Facebook chat group, the free chat group. That's a very, very important part of my business as that's where we all share what we make with the boxes. It's a really, really lovely community. I always say everyone is welcome to join. So if you'd like to join the chat group, I'll leave the link below and it's not going anywhere. And something else I've been asked, I'm not stopping my YouTube videos either. I love making YouTube videos. And to be honest, quite often it makes you more accountable. So like today, me sorting out my, or having a good declutter, sometimes if you people say, oh, can you film a video? It actually encourages you to do it. I do really, really enjoy making the videos, editing them, and the community side of it as well. I love it when you all leave comments below. Like I said, I will be putting together a proper video about Patreon, what exactly I am doing, what Patreon is, because I know a lot of you have asked that question as well. And I've actually grouped up a whole load of questions that I've been asked and I'll sit down and answer them all in one go for you. But how I'm seeing is it's an extension, an improvement on what I'm already doing. Right, these are all the oddments of bags. I have quite a lot actually, do you know? I store a whole load in here as well. I think I'm going to go through those too. Aid's come in. He's working on something for Patreon that I'm working on right now. Have you been following the lead up to my Patreon launch? I am going to be doing some videos about it. But if you haven't, I'll leave some links below for blog posts that I posted this week so you can see more details. So this now leads me on to the next question, which I've been asked quite a lot lately. First of all, I recently got asked if I've always been a busy person and I've also had a few comments recently asking where I'm going to find the extra time, have I got the time to do it, am I looking after myself, all that kind of thing. Um, one, yes, I've always been a busy person, I'll come back to that in just a moment. But with regards to finding the extra time for Patreon, um, I've actually mapped out a really good schedule and I have actually been taking quite a bit of time off work lately, which I haven't been vlogging quite so much, but Saturdays now is pretty much my day off. We've been walking, going for long walks at the weekends on Saturdays since lockdown actually, since March started, and they've become longer and longer walks and to the point that we've even been on like a 13 mile walk. We get together with friends and we go on a long walk every Saturday and quite often we come home and chill. So I'm definitely doing better with taking time off and the evenings I've been giving myself more downtime as well. Um, but I've actually got a really good schedule going now and it's working really, really well. I've got some extra help, which is good. And I'm actually feeling in a really, really good place right now. But if I'm really honest, when you run your own business like this, you're always busy. You always need more hours in the day. I grew up, my dad was self-employed, he was a self-employed electrician, he worked seven days a week. We never had a, no, we had one family holiday, we went to Ibiza when I was eight, and that's the only family holiday we ever had. Um, so I have improved on that, we do take our holidays as you know, and I am very fortunate that with aid working from home, 
Aid and I have a lot of quality time together. We see the kids all the time. And um, so family and especially husband wife time, we do have a lot of quality time together. So that side of things is really, really good. So in answer to the question, have I always been busy? Yes. I yes, I've always been a really busy person. Sometimes when somebody asks you a question like that, it really makes you think. But I've never been one to lie in, even as a teenager. Um, I never laid in. I always helped with the housework because I liked having a clean house. I was the unusual teenager that my room was spotless. Um, I had younger siblings, um, especially my brother who's like 12, 13 years younger than me. So I always helped out with him. I always had a job as early as I could. I always did lots of babysitting jobs. And then as I got older, um, I worked for an airline and I worked as ground staff at Heathrow for an airline and I loved holidays so I used to swap shifts so that I could take like three four weeks off at a time but then we used to work on a rotation of six on two off I would work do double shifts so that um, you could get other people to cover you and then work on my days off and I would also often work double shifts as well so I'd get in extra overtime and bearing in mind every shift I did I used to start at um, get to Heathrow for half four in the morning so I used to get up at quarter past three every single morning when I worked um, I loved my early shifts so that really got me well for when I had kids because other mums would be struggling to get up for night feeds I found it quite laughable because I couldn't see what the problem was because I knew that at some stage I would be going back to bed to sleep so for me getting up for night feeds was never a problem I had kids that never slept um, but that was fine I dealt with that too but I've always been a busy bee I worked went back to work at the at Heathrow when Holly was five and a half months old so I juggled all that as well and then when I had Louis my second child I didn't actually go back to work but I was quite bored um, I had loads of friends and all that but I found all the conversation quite boring just being about babies and I ended up doing a lot of charity work um, I did a lot of work for the um, NCT the National Childbirth Trust I ran our local group I used to organize all the coffee mornings all the get-togethers all the activities um, and I also did the advertising side of things for our local group um, I used to get advertisers on board for our newsletter, our little magazine. I used to distribute all the local magazines to the home address. I used to find new advertisers. I used to invoice those and take payments. So, and that was with two very small children. So yes, I have always been a very busy person. And then I started up my first business when my youngest was 18 months old. So I would have actually done the NCT alongside starting up my own business as well. Uh, yeah, my youngest was 18 months and Holly would have been then about four. There's, um, yeah, two years, nine months, I think, between them. And yeah, and then my business took off, my wedding business took off straight away. And um, I used to quite often get up at three, four o'clock in the morning to work so that I could still have my time with the kids. But yes, I have always been a very busy person. And I think if I did have downtime, I would fill it with something else because that's just the way I am. Right, I do actually even have more gift bags on this, but they're in the cupboard and they're in large, large bags, like 500 at a time, which I haven't touched. But these are what I thought were my oddments. And I do actually have a lot more than I thought. So now I can organize them into baskets. So I've got all the large ones here and a few of the smaller five by sevens there. This is the other cupboard that I need to organize. It's really messy. I've actually got some of Holly's old clothes in here that she was, I was gonna sell on eBay for her. But that's more paper bags and packaging, tissue paper. I want to paint it white. That will be in another video. But the paper bags look so much tidier. Right, next up, I'm going to clear this shelf and this big basket as well. This was a greetings card that somebody sent me. I think it may have been a birthday card and I took out the glass. I, um, I actually took out the glass because the frame fell down and smashed, so it wasn't intentionally. But this is just a cheap frame from Wilco. Right, I can already see that I've got a lot of stuff that I don't actually need anymore. I'm gonna go through this basket and I don't know if I actually need this one anymore. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that one. I think something that's dawned on me over the years with being a very busy mum is it's all down to priorities. Um, for example, I've always cooked all of my meals from scratch. Um, my kids never had tin food, they never had formula. Everything has always been from scratch, but 
I stopped ironing when the children were younger. I'm running my own business and cooking the way I do. You can't fit it all in. So some things have to give and I haven't ironed for years. That's just one of the things that I have decided to give up on. Right, and here I hadn't looked in here for so long. I've got like bodged up pla um, little journals that arrived damaged. I've got some tags. Uh, paper clips, just various bits and pieces, and this is all like a whole bunch of treasure I need to go and through. Inside, loads of containers. These might actually work out really, really well. Wooden pegs and just various bits and pieces. Does anyone else find this kind of job really, really therapeutic? There's something so good about going through a large amount of stuff and sorting it all out. I've just been sorting through everything. The box is now empty and got some really cool bits and pieces this is all like metal bits um, charms and clips lots of seven gypsies stuff um, just really really old stuff in here um, some cool paper clips there's a bike there some big book rings all sorts of bits and pieces got some mini charms in there these are old keys more paper clips and these are all little binder clips so this is now my tidied basket. I've got little magnets. I've got those all the metal treats, uh, paper clips. These are binder clips there. I've got more binder clips in rose gold. The keys, little binder clips, more, and then little charms, paper clips, doilies. These are like clear baubles um, for Christmas things. I've got spare containers, and these are my um, notebooks which I've got like little bent corners. Um, I don't know whether to list them as like B's, grade B's, I don't know. I've also found a load of Christmas ones as well, which I can add to my shop because those aren't damaged. And then we've got the tidy envelope and tags, and we've got an envelope drawer here as just sort of odds and ends. And the last thing, whilst I'm at it, I'm just gonna have a little tidy up down here. That looks better, doesn't it? I've got some <laughs> gift wrap there ink cartridges i did have all my filming equipment like all my lights and things and they fit in really well but again when i've got my when i'm on zoom or something like that it just looks really ugly in the background i'm actually thinking i could keep them there and then just remove them maybe when i film that might make or video that might make more sense but i've gone through all my tray that's all tidy i had loads of paperwork to go through and it's nice and tidy now that to me looks so much tidier. I don't know if it makes a big difference to you. I, those bags are still bugging me a little bit. They still look a bit untidy, don't they? But I need to have access to them. And it's a nice feeling knowing that's all tidy as well. But I'm very happy. I've had a very successful morning. Always feels good to have a good declutter. I found this in my tray. I painted that absolutely ages ago. My pile that I've sorted. Um, most of that can go in recycling. I've got to find homes for other bits. I hope you've enjoyed this declutter video. It's always nice to have a good tidy up and I always feel so much better for it. So I urge you to do the same. If you've got an area in your house that needs a quick tidy, a quick declutter, do it because it's such a great feeling afterwards. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you are going to go and declutter something or if you've recently decluttered something. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.